now remember that in this system i will use a multi guard system that means there can be multi type of user in my system one is user you already see that by default the bridge authentication system give me the user stable and i already have everything set up for the user because i installed the bridge now what i can do i will use a separate table for the admin for example a website can have two part one is admin panel that means in order to control all the contents of a website you have the admin panel so there is the admin he is on type of user and another user is normal user that already have given uh, or for example you want to make a real estate website or something like that then what you have to do you can have a user or a, a, a customer who will buy the product uh, that is showing in the front end or in an e-commerce website you know there can be a user who is normal user or a customer so for that customer or normal user that i will need a table that is the users table you see here and another table will be for the admin who will actually control the full website so now my target is to create everything for the admin so first of all i am going here in my terminal and i am going to create a migration file so here i am going to write uh, php artisan make migration so i will create actually the migration right so here i will create the migration for the admins table so create admins table you will see in my database folder migrations folder a migration file comes what will be the content of that migration if i go to the user stable migration you will see that this is the default migration items so from here i am going to copy these four items and in the admin table i am going to paste it and here instead of email verify that i am not going to remove that for now that is okay but uh, if you need you can add or delete something here for example uh, i am going to create a token here that is for example table a string and a new field i am going to create that's name i will give token and it will be a nullable field okay i will show what is the uses of this when i will uh, show in the practical example then you will understand now uh, what is the uses of token now uh, every other things are okay i think so i am going to close this and now i will create a model as i have created a migration i will have to create a model also so here i am going to create a model php artisan make model and model name will be the singular form of my table that means admins will be my table so the singular form will be admin and the first letter will be upper case letter that is a then enter a model will be created now into app models here you see admin.php model has been created i have another model by default that is user in the user model i have some codes you see it has api token notifiable authenticable etc are given here so from the user.php i will copy something what things i will copy i am going to copy the authenticable notifiable okay this three items i am going to copy and into the admin top i am going to paste all the items so this is one chance i am going to do and another one is you see class admin extends model right but here i use a foundation auth user as authenticable so i am going to copy the authenticable class and instead of model i am going to call the authenticable so i extend the authenticable class and the main class is admin now my task is to copy all other data from the user.php for example all the data i am going to copy from here and in my admin.php here i am going to paste everything here you see the protected fillable are name email password and i created an extra item that is token so i am going to 
or put it here and in the top i am going to put the protected guard i am going to define that is in my case it is admin i will create admin guard so i am going to give the guard name here admin so all other things here i i, I think it is okay now my task is to run the migration so i am going to the terminal and here i am going to create migration that means php artisan migrate i will run this command and the table that's name will be admins table will be created so now let's go to my database and refresh it you see that like the users another table comes that is admins here the structure are already the same as user only the token field is the extra field in this admins table.